just finished 12 miles. That's insane. I don't know how about how long it took me. Um, I think two hours or, or a little over two hours, but my Apple Watch actually like restarted so or stopped, so I had to restart it. Um, but I've, I've never run 12 miles consecutively in my life, so I just feel super proud. Um, next week I have a 5K and then I have a couple more weeks till my half marathon, so feeling super pumped and proud. I'm so glad that I have my meals prepped, that I did my cooking the other day because coming home after a 12 mile run or any kind of long distance run, it's so nice just being able to have my food already ready to go. It's already prepped, I just gotta warm it up. So I highly recommend if you are doing long distance running, um, typically you know, you'll know you do those on like Saturdays or Sundays. So that way having um, your meals prepped, doing that sometime during your week, so that when it comes time for a long distance run, you already have your food figured out, you just gotta warm it up. It's, so much better and then you can just like relax as opposed to um sometimes i've gone out to eat after which is you know fine but you know if you really are wanting to know exactly like what you're putting in your food how much you're eating etc um, i highly recommend doing meal prep sometime during your week so that when it's saturday or sunday when you're doing your long distance running you will just have everything ready to go and it's so much easier so this is an example meal um i really love doing roasted veggies in the oven and this is some chicken sausage i picked up all of this from trader joe's and i got my water um but just like having my meals prepped in advance i usually make about three maybe four meals at a time um that way there's no like guesswork around it and it's just really nice coming home um after a longer you know distance run and having my food already figured out so i did boil some eggs the other day um, as well. So I might have like one or two of those just depending how hungry I am. Um, but yeah, this is just an example meal. And what I would recommend is getting really good at mastering specific, like at least three to maybe like five healthy meals that you know how to make. They're very obviously healthy and there's not a lot of guesswork around it. So when you go to the store, you're pretty in and out. Recipe is very simple. I try to do um, recipes that I find from Pinterest and that are no more than like five to seven ingredients and typically stuff that I already have. So this is just like one of the meals that I really like. Um, but yeah, having like go-to meals where you're not like figuring out like what should I eat, um, what should I make is just really gonna come in handy.